is me again, Thelma. <laughs> If you are coming back to my channel welcome back and if you're new welcome so today's video will be a little bit different we actually have a new member of our family coming we will be getting a new puppy and for now I'll just say he's a puppy and is a he so we won't be revealing the name of our puppy yet or the type of dog we're getting um, I'll do another video once we actually get him. We'll vlog when we go pick him up. We actually need to pick him up from West Virginia. So it's going to be a little bit of a road trip. Um, and I'll bring you guys along with me. But today, I just wanted to do a puppy haul and go over everything that I got to prepare for our puppy. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to start this off. Let's just say um, the whole puppy conversation. So we had a dog a few years ago um, we got him about four months old his name was major at the time and um we kept him for a few months um i feel like between my husband driving trucks me working full time the kids are all in school we didn't really have enough time and energy to put into the dog and um and eventually we ended up giving the dog away and he was adopted so i was grateful as a you know a fur mom that he was actually adopted however um you know it always was a soft spot in my heart and in our family's heart and so since everyone's home um my two olders are already graduated high school um i have one on the way out of high school and then another one who is being homeschooled me and my husband are both home so i figured why not give it another try um this particular breed that we're getting this time around never had this kind of dog before my husband's have never dealt with this particular breed before so it's been an interesting journey as um trying to learn more about the breed and how to be successful in training him and you know just making sure that he's a great fit for our family so um let's just get right into the goodies okay the first portion of this video i will be talking about grooming um the breed that we're getting he sheds a lot of fur um so i knew how important it was just by looking at other youtube videos and just by looking up um the necessary um tools needed for this particular dog we knew that we were going to need a nice bit of grooming things um so i wanted to start off with that we um definitely had to get a comb so um this is a dog comb that um i ordered from amazon it has the the smaller side the bigger side the reason why i like this comb is because it's really sturdy um it's not bendable or anything like that and i feel like i could get a good grip when i need to comb his fur so that's one of the grooming things we got it's from amazon i also got um this grooming rake again um he is and you might be able to guess i don't know if you can guess what type of dog puppy is going to be but he has an undercoat um and so this particular type of brush is good for these um breeds that are that shed a lot and have undercoats that need to be raped so that's what this is and i got actually got this from amazon as well um i got some grooming scissors these scissors i got from dollar tree believe it or not um they had a nice a nice little bit of stuff in there for puppies and dogs next i have this brush it's a double-sided brush um dual sided one side is like the rake and then the other side is just to brush the fur down um and i got this from ross 3.99 ross guys and then i got another um a slicker brush and i got this one from ross as well um i like the fact that it's like a rubbery handle and it's firm to grip you know so as i'm trying to brush them um i think this will be really good and i got this actually from ross as well for 2.99 and then um i got these um nail clippers for him however um we do plan on getting him groomed often at a professional um location however i do want to learn how to you know just file his nose down clip his nose a little bit so i did get this clipper for now um but i don't plan on using it until we fully know how to use it because i don't want to hurt him or anything like that so that's that Oh, and last but not least, I can't forget the chai. 
so I've seen this on a couple of people's videos um i definitely want to give it a try i got this from pet smart um and it was about 22 dollars. you can get it online on sale for like 16.99 or something like that but i liked it this brush because um with them having the fur that they have once you brush it this you can push the back of it and you can and you can get all the fur off that's on there you can see that the clipper and I really like that because I mean that's a good quick you know brush clean brush clean obviously but for real so um I think this would be a really good investment again I'm gonna give it a try but I did see a lot of people that use this and they actually do like it so that's another grooming tool that I have um and then a reference to grooming um giving him a bath we're gonna go with the Burt's Bees um, this is a brand that I like the fact that it's two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. A lot of times, just like our shampoos, puppy shampoos, dog shampoos can get dried out. You got to do other extra little stuff to to, um, to coat them or to wash them. So I like the fact that this was a good um, buttermilk um, linseed shampoo. I got this from Amazon as well. I'll make sure I put this in the bottom in the description. Next, I wanted to talk about toys. So puppies like to play you know you know they just want to move around so i figure he definitely needs a lot of things to play with i do have some here and i still feel like he needs some more that's my personal opinion but um this is a good start for us um i actually got this from five and below for three dollars um and i like the fact that it's sweet and it has like the rubbery um feel to it from the chew on so that's definitely something good to get they always like these little squeezy toys. This one I got from the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Definitely going Dollar Tree. And then this one was $4 um, from Five and Below. And this one also has, you know, once he grabs certain portions of it, it'll make some noise. So I think that'll be good. Five and Below and Dollar Tree. We got him this woof. This wolf rope, um, he gonna be little, little and small, little small puppy when he come for his come. But I know as he grow and he wanna play, I think this is a really good grip, um, ball. And this was only two ninety nine at Ross, guys. So, um, I definitely had to pick one of these up. And then of course, this I got this from Dollar Tree. These balls don't always last long once the dogs get bigger. I learned that from my first puppy, from my first dog, um, Major. So, um. However, it's good to have. So we got the ball at the tip and then the rope at the top. Next, I wanted to talk about um, training. So my husband will be the one doing the majority of the training. However, we're a family of seven. So I know it's going to be collectively um, a family thing that we need to work together and do. However, he's going to be doing a lot of the training and showing us what it is we need to do. So one of the things that I did go online and get um, was a bell. Um, we didn't do bell training with Major. Um, he was a little older when we got him already. And I know we probably still could have. But again, with time and um, having the energy and time to do it after work was a little bit difficult for us at the time. So this time around with our new pup, we want to actually do the bell training. So we have the bell. Actually come with two in a box. So we'll probably put one in the front of the house and one in the back of the house. And then um, he just put his paw on there to make the noise. And then also the clicker. I know you see the clicker um, when you're training. Um, so it all came in a box together. And I think it probably was about $10 or something like that. It was really an inexpensive. Um, but that's going to be in the description as well. I wanted to go over walks with them. So we were still trying to figure out if we wanted to do the leash that has like the adjustable you know reachable like he can go and come and you can stop it and so we did get one of these however my husband said that he wanted to get the one that's just a regular leash as well so we'll probably go out and purchase that as well but i like the fact that this was nine feet um and i got this from ross and it was only 5.99 so definitely um a good a good pick and then we got him a harness um he is a puppy still but a big breed, medium sized big breed. So um, we got him the harness. I'm okay with the leash around his neck, but 
uh, when we had major, I felt like we pulled a lot whenever he wanted to go another direction. Um, and then when he was in a crate, when we did take him outside, sometimes he was so anxious to get out. You know, I just felt like it was a lot of pulling and things of that nature. Hopefully this time around we'll do a lot better. But I did get um, our pup a large um, harness for now. I actually got this from Ross as well for $4.99. And then I got a couple of collars for him. The collars are only $3.99 at Ross. Um, and I ordered him a dog tag with his name on it. It's real cute. Um, I have a picture of that right here. The dog tag didn't come in the mail yet. Uh, it will be here, they said, in a few weeks or so. Um, so, I just still wanted to bring it up and put the link. I put the link in the description box just in case you wanted to take a look at it. Okay, so for food, we spoke to the breeder first to find out what she's already feeding the puppy. And she said that um, our pup, as long even with the parents, they eat Purina. Um, so, we're going to start him off with Purina Puppy Child. For now, my husband said, I mean, it wasn't at the top of his list of dog foods that he would want to give the dog. However, he was okay with, it was an okay dog food. So, um, we're going to be giving him the Purina. But my husband also wants to try the raw food diet. I'm not as educated in it as he is. However, he said he may start off with puppy child and raw food diet both. And then see how it goes. And sometimes he may give him raw food. Sometimes he may give him the puppy um, kibble. But he just feels as though it's more of a natural, better, healthy um, diet when you give him the raw food diet. So if you know anything about raw food diet, if you are someone who already have experience with dogs with raw food diet or puppy child, and you have your opinionated, please make some comments below. Please give us some um, information if you have it because, um, again, we're in that transitional period where we're going to be picking him up soon and we just want the best for him. I just personally feel like the raw food is just a lot dealing with meat and stuff like that. I barely want to really deal with meat when I'm cooking food. I'm, I'm halfway almost a vegetarian. <laughs> so, I don't like touching it. I don't really like... You know what I mean? Like, so, but I do want what's best for the pup. So I'm going to kind of follow my husband's lead on that and see, you know, what we decide. Uh, but again, give us any information you have as far as diet. His doggy pump. So he's a pretty big dog. This says for large breeds, but I think I want to get him something that sits him off the floor so he don't have to bend down so hard just to eat. But I figured this was something good for now. I actually got this from Dee Dee's Discounts. Uh, we were in there looking, just looking around at other stuff, and I just came across it. I said, "Ooh, we can get this now." So, um, it was only nine ninety nine, and I like the fact that it has the rubber bottom. I know some people use like rubber bottoms underneath their dog stuff. Um, however, I like the fact that this already has it on there. I like that. So we'll see how long he this he actually eats out of this pool. Um, our other pup, he pretty much had the same pool the majority of the time he was with us. So. Next, I have this puppy. <laughs> I just had to get one. Puppy water cup. Sippy cup is what I call it. Um, and basically, um, you put the water inside the cup. And you, there's a, also a little small department at the bottom where you can put treats. And um, when we're out or whatever, and if he gets thirsty, you just push the, push the button and the water comes out right here. And then the dog can drink the water. So you can actually see a little, bit, a little picture of it right here. Um, and I'll put this in the description box. I just thought it was small. It was easy to carry around. I just like, you know, I just like everything about it. Um, I just want to give, give you a look at it. So I have the clear one. And I like the fact that there's a little handle in there too. So, you know, it's easy to carry around. If I'm taking them to the vet or we taking them, we're going we gonna to be out for a little while. He might get thirsty while we're out. Perfect to have. Definitely get you one of these. And of course... Um, I have the Puppy Kong, so this is a good chew toy for dogs, and then you can also put food, treats, different things inside of here. I would say treats, per se, because it's fun, um, and then he play around with it until he can get whatever's in there out, so 
I um, actually got this from Amazon as well, and I'll put the description down below. Speaking of fun and food, <laughs> um, I got the milk bone food um, toy thingy, and it actually comes with some biscuits. You put the biscuit inside, um, and then he can just play with the ball, chew on the ball, and as he play with it, you know, little parcels of the biscuit that fall out. It's just something fun for him to play with and eat, have a treat, have some fun at the same time. Um, I actually got this from Amazon as well. So I got the soft puppy bites. It's one of the treats. They're healthy snacks, um, and this one is actually the lamb and salmon recipe. I'm a salmon eater, so I know my pup will like salmon. <laughs> uh, Yuckies was one of the top brands. Um, I know we used it before with our other dog, and I just wanted to give it another try. Um, and this one is the uh, salmon. Here we go with the salmon again, right? <laughs> and chickpea recipe. So that's that. Amazon. And then we got him the little chance. And um, these are the ones that my husband's actually going to probably use as he's training. Like, I mean, some of the other ones as well. But I like the fact that these are really small, easy to just throw one down there. Um, and they, I got these actually from Ross. And they were $4.99 each. So. Speaking of training, I did get some training pads. Um, we plan on having them outside often as far as his training is concerned. However, being a very little puppy, he's he will be between six to eight weeks when we pick him up. And, um, you know, they have accidents and things of that nature. So we will have some pads down. But the idea is because we have a pretty nice size yard, pretty nice size front, we're going to be able to bring him outside as much as often, as often as possible to um, use the potty. But the pads are also good to just have. I got these from... Um, Five and below, five dollars. So going out on walks, you know you gotta get the dispenser. Got this for five and below, three dollars and twenty-five cent, and it comes with uh, forty bags in there. And then I like the fact that it has a little carry um, portion, and it was really inexpensive. So definitely need one of those. The cleanup is real, right? First, I wanted to talk about. Now, I've heard different things on YouTube about um, go here and any type of sprays that, oh yeah, this will make him want to go right there. Um, we've tried it before. I don't think it was as successful, but it was a different brand. So I wanted to give it another try. This is the out, go here. And we spray this in the areas where we want him to go. So when we are in the house, and he's a really, really little pup, and we have the pants down, um, the idea is to spray this on a pad. Um, I actually ordered this on Amazon as well. I'll make sure I put it in the description box. And then for cleanup, stain and odor remover. Um, another out product. And I got this from Ross. It was only $4.99. So this food dispenser I thought was really cute. I got this from Amazon. Um, and it comes... Again, I like the fact that it has the handle. So if we're going to take go somewhere and we need to take a nice bit of food with us, I can actually put it in here and carry it with me. It has the measuring cup at the, on top where you can measure how much food you're giving him. And then, um, of course, it has the pour at the top where you can pour the food out into the measuring cup and into the bowl. And the really other dope part about it that I really like, which, which made me get it, was the fact that it comes with a little travel bowl with it. Um, and the little travel bowl, again, just like the suspenser is, the suspenser is, you know, you can clamp it on to a keychain or whatever, and then you can just pop the bowl out so you can see it. I like that. Pop the bowl out, pour him some food. Well, first you pour it into the measuring cup. Make sure you got the right amount. Pour him some food and let him eat. And then with that, again, that's when that sippy cup, this comes in handy because eat he drink and we're already out so he can use the bathroom so i really liked this um again i got this from amazon it wasn't as big so i knew once i looked at the size i'm like okay well i'm gonna need something a little bigger to keep his actual food in and keep it fresh um 
and this wasn't just it. This is a, this is our travel one. And we're gonna go out with him, and he's gonna be with us for a little while. We need to just make sure he has everything he needs. I was on the website Paul Prince, and I found some really nice stuff. And I actually came across this really neat set that I really and really really like. This is one part of the set. Probably seen it before. If not, I'll make sure I put it in the description box. But this is actually like a tin can, and you can put all his grooming stuff in there. So. I'll be putting all the brushes that I showed you and all the grooming stuff, scissors, combs, in this tin box. So when I do groom them and we do certain things, at least everything's in one space. So that's that. Along with that came the tin. So this is a tin box just for treats. You know, it's a good place to keep treats in. Um, tin can. And I liked it, the fact that it matched. I hope he like it too. Uh, I was really excited about this when it came in. It's pretty big as you can see. Um, this is for his toys. So again, that's why I felt like when I put his toys in here that I bought him, I was like, dang, that's all I got. <laughs> but I'm gonna make sure I put a nice bit of toys in here and this will stay on the floor. And when he's down and he's playing in his little area, um, yeah, he can come in and grab a toy out and just play with it. So that's what that is. It's pretty big. And I like the fact that it matches um, the tin can and the grooming kit. Along with that, I got the big boy. So this is actually, I'm going to move back a little bit so you can see it, for his food. So when we get him the big buckets of food, um, we can keep it fresh. And it also, it also looks like the set came with the set. It came with wheels, so I can roll it. Um, and then it came with this little scooper for the food. That's that. Um, and finally, with the set came this little guy right here. And so I love this. Um, the front of it has a little part where you can put the puppy's name. And then it has a handle. And it's a zipper on the side, so you can zip it shut. Um, and then I'll just put, like, his paperwork and any important information that I have for the dog. Times that he get a shot, receipts for when I get stuff done for him. Whatever is important to him that we keep is going to go into this bucket. Um, and so together with the set, along with this, I think I paid about $57 or something like that. I'll put all this in the description box. Um, even if you only decide to get a piece or two of it. Um, the, I, the the best one that I like out of the whole thing is definitely the um, the toy bin. The food bin just because it's so big and it's very sturdy, guys. It's not cheap. It's very sturdy material. So I was really excited about this. To show you guys the doggy bed that we got for him um so this is the doggy bed that we decided to get for him pretty big um and we got this from ross to 22.99 22.99 um and it's really soft it's really big we plan on keeping this one kind of probably upstairs in our room um when he's up there with us so that's his bed and then let me grab his crate now we did go back and forth about if we wanted to get a crate or we wanted to get a playpen um we definitely want to have him crate trained if we ever had to keep him home and need to keep him safe until we got back we don't plan on that happening to be a lot but we just wanted to be particularly sure so we did decide on the crate um for right now we got the medium to large the top pole crate um this is the 36 inch and it has um, the divider inside of it. And I got this from PetSmart. Um, and then I bought the inside portion of it. My little man woke up. <laughs> um, and this is the top pole 36 inch mat. So we're gonna put the mat inside the crate just so it's some comfortability in there when he is in there. Um, the idea is for him not to really have mistakes in there and um, pee or poop. So prayerfully we'll already have him potty trained and so when he's in and out of this crate it's not a punishment or it's not a place to go because you did something wrong but 
However, we'll keep the door open so he's able to go in and out of there whenever he feels like it when we're downstairs. So this is actually going to stay downstairs. And the doggy bed is going to stay upstairs. It's a breed that we know he has a lot of fur. He will have a lot of fur. Um, I felt like it was particularly important to have a humidifier in the house. Um, my son already has one upstairs. But we wanted to get um, a few more in the house just to kind of keep down the pet hair, fur, and dander. So I did go and purchase this air cleaner. Um, I'm going to keep this one actually upstairs in my room because it's a smaller one. Um, and then we do plan on having them upstairs sometimes. So I'll keep this one upstairs. And we're actually going to purchase another one for down here in our living room, dining room area. Just because we have a pretty long house and... Um, we just want to keep it as clear, the, the air as clear and fresh as possible for us and also for the puppy. So, this is a good purchase. I got this actually from Amazon as well. I'll put the description down below. So, I think that's everything I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for coming and joining me today with my puppy haul. Um, I will be posting a video very soon of us, our road trip to West, West Virginia. We will reveal the puppy's name. We will also reveal the um, breed that he is, the type of puppy that he is. If you got a guess, you know, with some of the things I said throughout the video, be sh feel free to let me know what you think. Be sure to like this video. Um, be sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you again. Come back and return. Thanks for coming. <laughs>